My name is Father Justin D.K. and um, I belong to the Uphold the Widow group and our target is to uplift the condition of widows all over the world, starting possibly in Africa and in Nigeria and in, you know, where I work and where I was born. So it may interest you to know that some of the problems the widows encounter, of course there are too many, but the major one is deprivation. Most often, once the man dies, these women are deprived, first of all, of who they are, their name, their identity. They're all changed. Properties and um, all they have, their, their legal rights as human beings are taken away from them. She has no right in the society. She doesn't belong. She doesn't own no property. All the things that belong to the husband will be taken over by the brothers and sisters of the husband. And widows are neglected. Widows have no meaning. They are defined wrongly. So I took it upon myself and with the help of my friends all over the world that we have to change their conditions, their status, and make sure that something changes in their lives. So all these things put together have motivated me and my friends to see what we can do to help the cause of widows in Africa. Already we have made some impacts here and there. What we have been doing for some time now is we um, raised some money here and there uh, from my pocket money and those of my friends who have been working with me and we try to do um, a revolving loan around them. We give them some money for them to start doing some little business here and there and then the, about a year or six months they return the capital and then um, keep the profit and we give, make this to go around. So that's what uh, we have been doing. We have also been uh, providing some legal uh, support because at times some of them have their prof uh, properties confiscated and rights deprived of them. So we try to support them by engaging lawyers and attorneys to help them to get their rights back. So, and so many other things we are doing to help them. We also take them to hospitals. We also encourage them to, um, you know, uh, take care of their children, take them to school, and all kinds of things. In fact, a couple of times we have provided what I may call a um, public clinic, health clinic. We invite doctors to come around and um, take, you know, look at their blood pressures, their sugar levels, uh, some other little, little things that ordinarily should not kill, but these things kill a lot of the widows, so, you know. So these are some of the things we do. So how do we solve it? To give them back their names, to give them back their identity, to give them back their status, to make them human, to make them love, to cherish themselves. Because they are so, uh, you know, deprived that at times they don't remember who they are anymore. And they, they live like moving corpses. So our goal, our drive is to find a way to reintroduce some level of consciousness, some level of life into their system. So today as we gather here, I welcome you once again. All I'm expecting from you is to make this world a better place, you know, and recreate these widows. Any third thing you contribute will go a long way to help. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars, honestly speaking, hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, whatever you contribute, we make sure it will be, you know, um, utilized judiciously to make sure that the lives of these poor people are not snuffed off. I want to thank you for being around here. I want to thank you for listening. I just want you to be part and parcel of this movement. It's more blessed to give than to receive. And the more you give, the more God blesses you.